Hi, welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to solve page 9, page 10, and page 11. So, let's start with page uh, 9, exercise 1. Exercise 1 is about the vocabulary that we learned in module 1. Okay? In module 1. So, let's get started. Read and circle the correct words. Read and circle the correct word. Number 1. In the past, most teachers were fresh or strict. Very good, strict. Number two, Mark is a little friendly or naughty in class, but he is a very good student. So, he's a very good student, but he's naughty. Very good. Number three, my sister has a lot of hobbies or problems but her favorite is chess chess what's the meaning of chess chess means shatranj so is that a problem or a hobby it's a hobby very good very good who are you now number four josh collects factories or comic books he has about 70 he has got about 70 so factories no it's comic books. Very good. Comic books. Number five. There is milk on the floor. There is milk on the floor. We need to dust or mop it. We need to dust or mop. What's the meaning of dust? Very good. You see the little bar. What's the meaning of mop? Very good. You know the fit ardia. So mop. Of course. Mop. Alright. So Mary's mom can sew or deliver. She made a dress for her, so she can, very good, she can sew. Now, number seven, I'm a football player. I train or order hard very every day. I train hard every day, that's right. Now, let's go to exercise two, which is about grammar. We have to use, we have to complete these sentences using present simple or present progressive. So, number one, Mrs. Dawson take the kids to school at 7.30 every morning. So, she does that every day, not just at the moment or not just for today. It means, what should we do? What should we use? We should use present simple. So, take, take becomes, becomes what? Takes takes because mrs dawson she is singular singular and she so she takes the the kids to school at 7 30 every morning number two alan iron his t-shirt for tonight's party so is he doing that every day is he doing this every day uh, is, does he does he iron his shirt every day or just today yeah just today because he's got a party Tonight he's got a party, so he's doing this right now because he's got a party. So what should we use? Present simple or present progressive? Very good, progressive. So Alan is ironing his shirt for tonight's party. Number three, Glenn work in a factory, but today it is closed. So does he do that every day? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's his job. He works there. So, Glenn works in the factory. Number four. Samantha, check her emails now. We have now. So, of course, we use a progressive. So, is Samantha checking her emails now? I need the computer. Number five. We have two persons, or sorry, two people, A and B. A says, what you do in your spare time? So, in your spare time, what do you do? What do you do in your spare time? ماذا تفعل في وقت فراغك? Okay. B says, I model, make model, model cars. So, I make or made. I make okay sorry i make no i am making i make because this is something he does in his spare time 
I make model cars. Number six, your brothers play in the garden bell. So she's, or let's suppose she's a mother, and the mother is asking, uh, asking Bell about uh, his brothers. So are your brothers playing in the garden bell? Very good. We use a present progressive. Okay, so let's jump to exercise three. Exercise three, we have to use going to uh, to make the sentences or to complete the sentences. Number one, is Blenda going to sing? Is she going to sing? Look at her. No, she isn't. She is going to do what? She's going to dance. Look, these are ballet shoes. So she's going to dance. Number two. Now this is Mark. Is Mark going to play ba basketball? Do we need bats in basketball? No, we don't. So he's not going to play basketball. No, he isn't. He isn't going to play basketball. He is going to play what? Baseball. Very good. Baseball. Number three. Are Bill and Jill going to make model planes? Are they going to make model planes? Look, what is written in here? Cars. Cars. So, no, they aren't going they aren't going to make model planes. They're going to make model cars. Very good. Number 4. Are you going to babysit Jill? Look, this is Jill. So, we're asking her. We're asking Jill. Are you going to babysit? No. She says, no, I'm not. I'm going to mop. Very good. All right. Let's jump to the next exercise, which is in page 10, exercise 4. Complete the, the dialogue with the past simple of the verbs in brackets. So we have to use the past simple. We have a, a, a dialogue or a conversation between Donna and Sam. So Donna says, hi, Sam. I'm back. You mop the floor. So we have to use past simple as you know. So if we want to ask somebody about something he did in the past, what do we use for asking? We use did. Did you mop the floor? Now please pay attention. You cannot use the past tense of mop in here. Why? Because we have did. We have did at the beginning of the sentence. So, we cannot uh, make this verb in the past tense. It has to stay at the base form. Now, Sam says, yes, I did. And I, the furniture too. Do you see did in this sentence? And I does the furniture too? No, there is no did. So, I have to make this verb in the past tense. So, it becomes, I uh, and I dusted the furniture too. Yes? Now, Donna says, good job. What else? What else you do? So, again, what do we have to use? Very good. What else did you do? Did you do? I wash the windows. So, wash in the past. Washed. It's a regular verb. Washed. Donna says, you call Percy for the CDs? So, Donna is asking him, did you call Percy for the CDs? Yes, but he not answer. So here we have to make a negative. 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 We have here negative state. So what are we going to use? He didn't answer. I'll try again later. I'll try again later. What about you? You make a cake? Did you make a cake? No, I didn't. But we can't have a birthday party without a cake, Donna. I know. Relax. I buy a delicious cake. I, I bought a delicious cake. I bought a delicious cake from the supermarket. 
I went shopping and got everything we need. Everything we need. Let's see. Where are the drinks, Donna? Oh no, they're at the supermarket. Oh, Donna. <laughs> good job, very good. Okay, now exercise five. Read and, and write T for true or F for false. Teenage money. What's the meaning of teenage? Teenage or teenager. Teenager means مراهق. شخص بعمر المراهقة. Okay, like 14, 15, 16 years old. Okay, we call them teenagers. Teenagers. So, let's read about teenage money. In Britain and the USA, but also in many other places around the world, it is usual for older children to work a few hours for a little money. Part-time jobs, which teenagers do most often are... Part-time jobs, which teenagers do most often are babysitting, paper rounds, washing cars, or helping with chores at neighbors' houses. Even famous people worked when they were teenagers. Famous actor Tom Cruise had a job as a paper boy when he was young. He made paper rounds and delivered newspapers to people's houses. Paper boys wake up very early in the morning and do their paper round before they go to school. Poor Tom. <laughs> Singer and actress Beyonce Knowles worked at her mother's hair salon. What did she do? Nothing much. She just mopped the floor. Now. Let's uh, write T for true and F for false. Number one, in Britain and the USA, all the children work. So, in Britain and USA, it is usual for older children to work. So, for older ch children to work. So, true or false, what do you think about this sentence? It's false, of course. Okay? Number two, teenagers often deliver newspapers or take care of little babies to get some money. True, they have a part-time jobs. Tom Cruise had to wake up very early for his job. Oh yeah, poor Tom. True, Beyonce Knowles cut people's hair at her mother's salon. Did she cut their hair? No, she mopped the floor. So false. All right, let's go to exercise six. Writing. Use the prompts in the box uh, and write about what you did last weekend and what you are going to do this weekend. Use the past simple for the first paragraph and going to for the second paragraph. Use your own ideas too. So, we have to write two paragraphs. The first one about what we did in, the, uh, in, the, in our last weekend. And the second paragraph is about what are we going to do uh, this weekend. So, we have to use past simple and going to. We can use these ideas like do sports, meet with friends, watch films or DVDs, listen to music, visit place, Go out, family, friends, with family or friends. Do a hobby, go concert or see band. So, it's totally up to you to write whatever you want. You can use uh, these uh, ideas. You can write your own ideas. I don't mind, but they have to be in the correct tense, like uh, the past simple and going to. You cannot write it in present simple or progressive and such things, okay? Good job. All right, so here's my suggestion. Uh, last weekend, I met my friends, okay? I met my friends and we watched a movie together. That's what we did last weekend. But next weekend, I'm going to visit my grandpa house. I'm going to visit my grandpa house. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I think we're done.
yes we're done thank you so much for joining me see you in another lesson goodbye